Compartment syndrome is a condition in which increased pressure within a closed space compromises the circulation of the tissue contained within that space. This condition can affect any compartment in the body, but it most often involves the lower leg. Almost any injury can cause this syndrome, including injury resulting from vigorous exercise. However, the most common causes of compartment syndrome are fractures and soft tissue injuries. In this specific example, the tibia has suffered an oblique fracture from a traumatic force. Edema and hemorrhage cause fluid accumulation, elevating the compartmental pressure and occluding blood vessels and nerves. With clinical suspicion of acute compartment syndrome, intracompartmental pressure is measured. An absolute pressure of 30 millimeters mercury or higher, or within 30 millimeters mercury of the diastolic blood pressure, is considered diagnostic of acute compartment syndrome. Without urgent decompression, tissue ischemia, necrosis, and functional impairment will occur. Anatomy is crucial in the treatment of compartment syndrome. The four compartments of the leg include the anterior, the lateral, the superficial posterior, and the deep posterior compartments. Fasciotomy is the treatment of choice for compartment syndrome. Complete decompression of the lower leg is accomplished through a double incision for compartment fasciotomy. The first incision is placed halfway between the fibular shaft and the tibial crest. The fascia, anterior and posterior to the septum, is opened transversely. The anterior compartment is released first, followed by release of the lateral compartment. Care should be taken not to injure the superficial peroneal nerve located within the lateral compartment. The second incision is made medial to the previous incision, two centimeters posterior to the posterior tibial margin. Care should be taken not to injure the saphenous nerve and vein. The fascia, anterior and posterior to the septum, is opened transversely. The superficial posterior compartment is released first followed by release of the deep posterior compartment. The double incision for compartment fasciotomy is now complete. Chronic exertional compartment syndrome is an exercise-induced condition different from acute compartment syndrome. In patients with chronic exertional compartment syndrome, the resting intracompartmental pressure is usually greater than 15 millimeters mercury. Pressure rises steeply after initiation of exercise, usually culminating in pain within 20 minutes. Burning, cramping, or aching pain and tightness develop, leading to cessation of activity. Intracompartmental pressure that remains over 30 millimeters mercury one minute after the end of exercise, or pressure that remains over 20 millimeters mercury for longer than five minutes after the end of exercise, is considered diagnostic of chronic exertional compartment syndrome. While initial treatment is conservative, a fasciotomy is the only proven successful treatment. Thank you for your interest in this preliminary exposition of our interactive program on compartment syndrome.